Uh, right now, we're talking about a story that captured the nation's attention four years ago. Uh, this pedestrian bridge at Florida International University collapsing. Do you remember this image? It was just so sad. Six people were killed on the road below. Plans for a newer, safer bridge are being unveiled. Uh, Eliana Diaz joining us live from the site of the future bridge with details. Eliana? Adrian, I am standing where that pedestrian bridge collapsed four years ago. The only thing left over is that large piece of concrete there across the roadway that reminds everyone every day of what happened here. And now the engineers working on the new bridge say their priority is safety to ensure another tragedy like this one doesn't happen again. This is what the new bridge at Florida International University in Miami will look like if the state's transportation department gets its way. The two-span bridge is dramatically different from the original one. That bridge was under construction when it collapsed during the day in 2018, crushing the cars beneath it and killing six people. Florida International University managed the project and hired the contractors that worked on it. Federal investigators blamed the university and contractors for the tragedy. The finger was also pointed at the state's transportation department, who kept the street open beneath the bridge during construction. But this time, Florida's DOT will directly manage the project, and traffic will be closed during the day while the bridge is built. Safety is our main concern. The new bridge will use traditional steel beams and support cables instead of concrete like the first one. So the type of bridge here that we have here is a, is a proven Proven method, proven design, proven construction, done time over and over again following traditional conventional methods. Designs for the new bridge are about halfway done and it will cost about $15 million to build it. Now, construction for that new bridge is expected to start in the spring of 2024, and engineers say they do plan to have a plaque on it with the name of the six people that died here four years ago to remember and honor their lives. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Eliana. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.